Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and this is my 880 gallon DIY fish tank. This tank is home to my monster fish, including my collection of South American peacock bass. And today we're going to respond to this comment, which is a request to list all the different species of peacock bass. I currently have five peacock bass, but I've been a fan of these predator fish for some time now, and I've become, at the very least, aware of the different species, and I know some basic information about a few of them. So today I want to go through this chart and tell you what I know about the 15 different species of peacock bass. So we're going to start off with one of the most famous species of peacock bass, the Cicla monoculus. I have this male which is a perfect example of the species. These peacock bass have the classic golden body, overlap with black stripes and black spots, with hints of orange and green throughout their body. Dominant male peacock bass will develop nuchal humps. This species look very similar to Cicla ocellaris, and in the pet trade, that's where you would see the most confusion. The two species are almost identical with only minor differences. The Minoculus peacock bass usually has more black markings on its body. They grow slightly larger than the Ocellaris peacock bass, capable of exceeding 24 inches, and they grow to be more robust overall. Cicla Ocellaris usually grows to about 20 to 24 inches, and instead of the black blotches, they usually have three solid stripes, which usually fades as they age. While Cicla Monoculus usually has gold and yellow body, Cicla Ocellaris' main body color can vary, sometimes being yellow, green, gray, or even white, and Cicla Ocellaris will often have yellow speckles throughout their body. I've always labeled my female as Cicla Monoculus because that's what I bought her as, but as I make this video, it is clear that she shows more signs of being Cicla Ocellaris, or possibly a hybrid between Ocellaris and Monoculus, her body color and fading stripes is a clear trait of Cicla Ocellaris. However, her robust size is a trait of Cicla Monoculus. In the aquarium trait, hybridization is very common, so a lot of times when you can't easily distinguish a peacock bass, this could be the reason. Usually when we want to ID a species, we just Google it, but it seems like even Google has a hard time distinguishing between Cicla Monoculus and Cicla Ocellaris. So a good way to study Cicla Ocellaris is to search Florida Peacock Bass. In 1984, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission first introduced peacock bass to the southern portion of the state, and the only species that they added was Cicla Ocellaris. Now I know some other peacock bass species may have been released into Florida waters, but the vast majority of peacock bass caught are Cicla Ocellaris. So that's a good way to study the species and to notice distinct features, like the three bars on the side, or faded bars on older fish, and the golden speckles that are across the body. Now all peacock bass originate from South America, and sometimes the same species can have different characteristics depending on what region they come from, and this is where we get the Broncopondo peacock bass. This is a variation of Cicla ocellaris peacock bass that are exclusively found in Suriname's Broncopondo Lake. This is a more rare peacock bass with golden speckles covering the majority of his body. This is a Cicla Azul peacock bass, easily distinguished by its gray body with darker stripes and blue highlights throughout the body. They grow to about the same size as Cicla Monoculus, reaching 24 inches and upwards. Under 3 inches, most peacock bass look very similar and it's tough to distinguish them, but once the Azul peacock bass reaches about 4 inches, they develop gold speckles all over their body, and they'll keep these speckles until they reach 8 to 9 inches, which is when they start to show their adult coloration. The speckles will fade, and they'll start to show the darker bars throughout the body and the blue highlights. This is a Cicla Orinoco peacock bass. Their body color is normally green to turquoise. And instead of bars or stripes, these fish usually have three spots on each side of their body. With some specimen, the spots can be connected with smaller blotches. They can reach a maximum size of 24 inches. These fish do go through quite a transformation. Juveniles are like every other species. Eventually, they go through a phase where they develop gold speckles all over their body. So often, these fish are mislabeled. Like one time, I bought a fish that was labeled as Cyclotomensis. And it ended up being an Orinoco, and that's because they go through that phase where they look nothing like an adult Orinoco. By the time they reach 7 to 8 inches, their body will turn more green, they will lose the speckles, and be left with their three signature spots.
The largest of all peacock bass species is the Cicletomensis peacock bass, reaching a massive 36 inches, and mine is actually not too far from that size. Under 3 inches, the species look very similar to other peacock bass, but as they grow, they maintain a black lateral line going across the length of their body. As they grow, they start developing rows of speckles that run parallel to the black line. By 7 to 8 inches, the black line disappears, and they develop 3 bars, and the speckles intensify. The species will grow long and slender for the first few months, and once the fish is close to 20 inches, it will become taller and girthier. This speckle pattern is the typical pattern that my fish show, but on rare occasions when she's challenged by another fish or when she wants to show dominance, the speckles disappear and she shows three solid bars across a brown to greenish body and her reds intensify. Cicla zingu, I kept this species briefly, but unfortunately it was killed from aggression early on. These fish start off looking like your average baby peacock bass, but once they reach about 4 inches, they have a black lateral line that runs across their body. At this size, you should be able to see some speckles coming in as well. Eventually, their body is covered with gold speckles, and by the time they reach 9 to 10 inches, their body should become gold to green in color. That lateral line is still visible, and they also develop spots and stripes running along the lateral line. The species usually grow between 18 to 24 inches. Cicla kelberi. I ordered this species before, but as I mentioned, juvenile peacock bass under 3 inches look very similar, so the fish labeled as Cicla kelberi ended up being Cicla azul. This peacock bass stuck out to me because it grows slightly smaller than most peacock bass, usually maxing out at around 18 inches. These peacock bass are often described as 24k gold peacock bass because they have the best display of gold out of all peacock bass. There is a variant of this species known as the spider kelberi, and this fish displays black spots overlapping their golden bodies. Those are the species that I currently keep or had some experience with and the most common species. The following species are not as common, so there isn't as much information available, but here's what I know. Cicla marinae, also known as the Fogo peacock bass, grows up to 24 inches. There are two color variants, the yellow Fogo and the red Fogo. Juveniles start off with a lateral line that can stay for the entirety of their life, but most of the time it fades into spots or blotches. These fish are hard to find, but at the time of making this video, predatory fence has some in stock. Cicla panema might be the Cicla tomensis biggest competition. They come in just inches short of the three foot tomensis. Juveniles of this species have the lateral line like many other juvenile peacock bass, but with this species you can see bars intersecting the fish's lateral line. As adults, the Cyclopanema displays a golden to green body with three bold vertical bars. This is another tough fish to find in the aquarium trade. Cicla intermedia, also known as the royal peacock bass, is a smaller species, only reaching up to 18 inches. Juveniles have a lateral line with a distinct row of bars going across its body, usually six or more, which is unique to this species of peacock bass. As adults, the lateral line remains, which isn't common with other peacock bass, and depending on the individual, the bars can fade or remain. All of this on top of a golden greenish body with orange fins. Cicla plizona, I've never seen this fish in the aquarium trade. They are a smaller species growing up to 18 inches and look very similar to the monoculus peacock bass. I've only seen a few threads about these fish on forums but not much information being shared about this species. Cicla nigra maculata, the smallest species of peacock bass averaging about 12 inches in size. I saw someone selling fish labeled as Cicla nigra maculata, but whether it was the real deal or not, I cannot say. Cicla vasilori, this is a rare species of peacock bass, one of the larger species of peacock bass that can reach sizes above 30 inches. These guys, you don't really see them too often, but currently at the time of making this video, predatory fins have some in stock. Then we have these three species, which honestly, I've never heard of. If you want, you can do further research, but we will probably never see these fish in the aquarium trade. Now the purpose of this video is to provide insight into the different types of peacock bass. This is not to convince you to buy a pet peacock bass. I actually made a video telling you why you should avoid buying these fish. Instead, this video should lead you to do further research on the different species of peacock bass 
Understand their needs and their challenges of keeping such monster fish. If you understand what these fish require and you are willing to meet those needs, then you're in for a treat. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have other questions or comments that you would like a video response to, drop them below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.